Hey everybody, we're back again. This is day 66. Can you believe that? Day 66 of our daily Bible reading. And today we're going to read Numbers chapters 28 through 30. 28 to 30. So, prescribed offerings. Chapter 28. The Lord spoke to Moses, Command the Israelites and say to them, Be sure to present to me at its appointed time my offering and my food as my food offering, a pleasing aroma to me, and say to them, This is the food offering you are to present to the Lord. Daily Offerings Each day present two unblemished year-old male lambs as a regular burnt offering. Offer one lamb in the morning and the other lamb at twilight along with two quarts of fine flour for a grain offering, mixed with a quart of olive oil from crushed olives. It is a regular burnt offering, established at Mount Sinai for a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. The drink offering is to be a quart with each lamb. Pour out the offering of beer to the Lord in the sanctuary area. Offer the second lamb at twilight, along with the same kind of grain offering and drink offering as in the morning. It is a food offering, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Sabbath Offerings On the Sabbath day, present two unblemished year-old male lambs, four quarts of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering and its drink offering. It is the burnt offering for every Sabbath, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. Monthly Offerings At the beginning of each of your months, present a burnt offering to the Lord. Two young bulls, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, all unblemished with six quarts of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering for each bull, four quarts of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering for the ram, and two quarts of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering for each lamb. It is a burnt offering, a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Their drink offerings are to be two quarts of wine with each bull, one and a third quarts with the ram, and one quart with each male lamb. This is the monthly burnt offering for all the months of the year. And one male goat is to be offered as a sin offering to the Lord, in addition to the regular burnt offering with its drink offering. Offerings for Passover the Passover to the Lord comes in the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month. On the fifteenth day of this month, there will be a festival. Unleavened bread is to be eaten for seven days. On the first day, there is to be a sacred assembly. You are not to do any daily work. Present a food offering, a burnt offering to the Lord. Two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old. Your animals are to be unblemished. The grain offering with them is to be a fine flour mixed with oil. Offer six quarts with each bull and four quarts with the ram. Offer two quarts with each of the seven lambs and one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for yourselves. Offer these with the morning burnt offering that is part of the regular burnt offering. You are to offer the same food each day for seven days as a burnt offer, as a food offering, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It is to be offered with its drink offering and the regular burnt offering. On the seventh day, you are to hold a sacred assembly. You are not to do any daily work. Offerings for the Festival of Weeks On the day of first fruits, you are to hold a sacred assembly when you present an offering of new grain to the Lord 
at your festival of weeks, you are not to do any daily work. Present a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, with their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, six quarts with each bull, four quarts with the ram, and two quarts with each of the seven lambs, and one male goat to make atonement for yourselves. Offer them with your drink offerings in addition to the regular burnt offering and its grain offering. Your animals are to be unblemished. Festival of Trumpets Offerings, Chapter 29 You are to hold a sacred assembly in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, and you are not to do any daily work. This will be a day of trumpet blasts for you. Offer a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. One young bull, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, all unblemished, with their grain offerings of fine flour mixed with oil, six quarts with the bull, four quarts with the ram, and two quarts with each of the seven male lambs. Also offer one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for yourselves. These are in addition to the monthly and regular burnt offerings with their prescribed grain offerings and drink offerings. They are a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Offerings for the Day of Atonement You are to hold a sacred assembly on the tenth day of this seventh month and practice self-denial. Do not do any work. Present a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma. One young bull, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old. All your animals are to be unblemished. Their grain offering is to be a fine flour mixed with oil, six quarts with the bull, four quarts with the ram, and two quarts with each of the seven lambs. Offer one male goat for a sin offering. The regular burnt offering with its grain offering and drink offerings are in addition to the sin offering of atonement. Offerings for the Festival of Shelters You are to hold a sacred assembly on the fifteenth day of the seventh month. You do not do any daily work. You are to celebrate a seven-day festival for the Lord. Present a burnt offering, a food offering, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Thirteen young bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old. They are to be unblemished. Their grain offering is to be a fine flour mixed with oil. Six quarts with each of the thirteen bulls, four quarts with each of the two rams, and two quarts with each of the fourteen lambs. Also offer one male goat as a sin offering. These are in addition to the regular burnt offerings with its grain offering, with its grain and drink offerings. On the second day, present twelve young bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all unblemished, with their grain and drink offerings for the bulls, rams, and lambs, in proportion to their number. Also offer one male goat as a sin offering. These are in addition to the regular burnt offering, with its grain and drink and their drink offerings. On the third day, present eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old, all unblemished, with their grain and drink offerings for the bulls, rams, and lambs, in proportion to their number. Also offer one male goat as a sin offering. These are in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain and drink offerings. On the fourth day, present ten bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old, all unblemished with their grain and drink offerings for the bulls, rams, and lambs, in proportion to their number. 
also offer one male goat as a sin offering. These are in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain and drink offerings. On the fifth day, present nine bulls, two rams, 14 male lambs a year old, all unblemished, with their grain and drink offerings for the bulls, rams, and lambs, in proportion to their number. Also offer one male goat as a sin offering. These are in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain and drink offerings. On the sixth day, present eight bulls, two rams, 14 male lambs a year old, all unblemished, with their grain and drink offerings for the bulls, rams, and lambs, in proportion to their number. Also offer one male goat as a sin offering. These are in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain and drink offerings. On the seventh day, present seven bulls, two rams, and fourteen male lambs a year old, all unblemished with their grain and drink offerings for the bulls, rams, and lambs, in proportion to their number. Also offer one male goat as a sin offering. These are in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain and drink offerings. On the eighth day, you are to hold a solemn assembly. You are not to do any daily work. Present a burnt offering, a food offering, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. One bull, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, all unblemished, with their grain and drink offerings for the bulls, rams, and lambs, in proportion to their number. Also offer one male goat as a sin offering. These are in addition to the regular burnt offering with its grain and drink offerings. Offer these to the Lord at your appointed times, in addition to your vow and free will offerings, whether burnt, grain, drink, or fellowship offerings. So Moses told the Israelites everything the Lord had commanded him. Regulations about Vows, Chapter 30 Moses told the leaders of the Israelite tribes, this is what the Lord has commanded. When a man makes a vow to the Lord or swears an oath to put himself under an obligation, he must not break his word. He must do whatever he has promised. When a woman in her father's house during her youth makes a vow to the Lord or puts herself under an obligation, and her father hears about her vow or the obligation she put herself under, and he says nothing to her, all her vows and every obligation she put herself under are binding. But if her father prohibits her on the day he hears about it, none of her vows and none of the obligations she put herself under are binding. The Lord will release her because her father has prohibited her. If a woman marries while her vows or the rash commitment she herself made are binding, and her husband hears about it and says nothing to her when he finds out, her vows are binding, and the obligations she put herself under are binding. But if her husband prohibits her when he hears about it, he will cancel her vow that is binding or the rash commitment she herself made and the Lord will release her. Every vow a widow or divorced woman puts herself under is binding on her. If a woman in her husband's house has made a vow or put herself under an obligation with an oath, and her husband hears about it, says nothing to her, and does not prohibit her, all her vows are binding and every obligation she put herself under is binding. But if her husband cancels them on the day he hears about it, nothing that came from her lips, whether her vows or her obligation, is binding. Her husband has canceled them, and the Lord will release her. Her husband may confirm or cancel any vow 
or any sworn obligation to deny herself. If her husband says nothing at all to her from day to day, he confirms all her vows and obligations, which are binding. He has confirmed them because he said nothing to her when he heard about them. But if he cancels them after he hears about them, he will be responsible for her commitment. These are the statutes that the Lord commanded Moses concerning the relationship between a man and his wife or between a father and his daughter in his, in his house during her youth. May the Lord bless the reading and study of his word.